Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the world. The Savior reigns. Let men their songs employ. While fields and floods, rocks, hills, and plains repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy, repeat, repeat the sounding joy. No more let sins and sorrows grow, nor thorns infest the ground. He comes to make his blessings known, far as the curse is found, far as the curse is found, far as, far as the curse is found. He the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders and wonders of his love and wonders and wonders of His love. the first one to carry the gospel when the angel brought the news of that precious little boy. Mary was the first one to carry the gospel and that news brought joy, sweet joy. Mary was the first one to carry the gospel when the angel brought the news of that precious little boy. Mary was the first one to carry the gospel and that news brought joy, sweet joy. The shepherds watched their flocks by night nearly fell asleep another lonely quiet night of watching all those sheep till a choir of holy angels pierced the night with songs of joy good news i bring for christ the king is mary's baby boy mary was the first one to 
carry the gospel and the angel brought the news of that precious little boy Mary was the first one to carry the gospel and that news brought joy sweet joy Hosanna to the highest and to Christ his only son God's glory wrapped in swaddling clothes the meek and holy one this may change the hearts of all who can believe what the prophets told has come to pass a virgin has conceived Mary was the first one to carry the gospel when the angel brought the news of that precious little boy Mary was the first one to carry the gospel and that news brought joy sweet joy Mary was the first one to carry the gospel when the angel brought the news of that precious little boy Mary was the first one to carry the gospel and that news brought joy sweet joy and that news brought joy sweet joy and that news brought joy sweet joy. Well, praise the Lord. Pardon me just a moment, if you will. Welcome to a Christmas edition of Songs of Praise with Stan. So glad you're here. It's hard to believe that in just two to three days it is Christmas. Here we are on Friday before Christmas. And I hope that you have plans to be with your family in church on Sunday for Christmas Eve to celebrate our Lord Jesus' birth. And we know that it wasn't December 25th, but that's the day that we have chose to celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus. We hope you'll be in church somewhere on Sunday and uh, enjoy a nice Christmas Eve service and then time with your families and then enjoy Christmas Day on Monday with family and friends. And uh, I'm telling you what, but I'm so thankful that you're here. We appreciate it ever so much. And uh, we're just thankful for all of our friends that tune in every time we have a new video pop up. And uh, we just, I, I don't know, I'm, after a year of doing this, I'm just, it's, I'm still amazed that uh, of the support that you guys have given us, and we appreciate it ever so much. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Still, if you haven't done so, or you know somebody that hasn't done so, will you please, please consider subscribing to the channel? It's free of charge. It doesn't cost you one cent. All you got to do is hit that uh, subscribe button. And the bell notification, if you'll do that, that way you'll know when videos pop up uh, or uploaded to the channel. Also, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and like the videos. It just really helps us out in that way. And uh, again, we do appreciate that. If you know somebody, send this link to this video or this YouTube channel. Send it to them and ask them to look, look in on it and invite them to subscribe to the channel as well. We'd appreciate that ever so much our scripture psalm chapter 40 verse 3 he put a new song in my mouth a song of praise to our god and that's the new american standard version of psalm chapter 40 verse 3 well we have just a few songs this may not go too awfully long i'm kind of looking and seeing where we're at on time we're doing real good on it so um but that's okay if it's a short one it's not, it doesn't really matter we're just celebrating christmas and we're going to be reading the christmas story in just a little bit And um, but I have pulled some songs off uh, off the internet, and uh, some of them are a little low for me. Some of them are a little high. That that joy to the world was almost too high for me, but but um, we made it through it. And uh, 
that Mary was the first one to carry the gospel. That's a new one. I haven't done that but once. Uh, this past week, I was able to sing for the disabled American veterans in uh, the Oconee, I think Oconee Cap County chapter, which is in Seneca, South Carolina. And uh, they invited me down for their Christmas party. So they were my guinea pigs on some of this music here. <laughs> but I uh, had a great time, and I ever so much appreciate the Disabled American Veterans, or DAV, you may recognize that. Um, but uh, I, I just appreciate the opportunity to be able to share an evening with the veterans. It means a lot to me. I'm going to sing another song here. going to try to make it through this. Uh, this one is just a little low for me, but we're going to try to make it through it. And um, join in, help me sing. I know I can't hear you, but if I know you're out there singing, it makes it easier for me. So, uh, but but I've got my trusty words with me, and um, got a couple of songs, and then we're gonna share the Christmas story and end with a, a Christmas song as well. But uh, let's try this one here. Praise the Lord. Well, I'm going to do another one here back to back and see how we do with that. And um, this is a split track when I recorded it. So uh, if you're not on your phone and you got headphones on, you may get music on one side and, and the voices on the other, the background voices. I'm not sure. Um, if you're on your phone, it may all come together. But if you've got some split like headphones, just want you to know it's not your headphones. It's the way this recorded. Because uh, it is a split track, but we're going to try it, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Did you know 
your baby boy would one day walk on water. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? This child that you delivered will soon deliver you. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would give sight to a blind man? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would calm the storm with his hand? Did you know that your baby boy has walked where angels trod? When you kiss your little baby, you kiss the face of God. The blind will see, the dead will hear, and the dead will again the lame will leap the top will speak the praises of the Lamb Mary did you know that your baby boy would one day rule the nations. Mary, did you know that your baby boy is Lord of all creation? Did you know that your baby boy was heaven's perfect lamb? This sleeping child you're holding the great I Praise the Lord. You're going to have to forgive me. Listen, since our last time together, I have been sick, and I'm still getting over this. The cough is the only thing I can't get rid of. But about a week and a half or so back, I, I was sick, had to go to the doctor, and they put me on a uh, steroid, put me on antibiotic, gave me these little pills. I don't know what they are. I call them little pearl pills that you're supposed to swallow, and they help keep your chest clear so you can breathe good and stuff. Matter of fact, on the bottle it says, don't let it pop in your mouth because it'll deaden your mouth. It'll, it'll you know, basically it, it numbs everything, but I don't know that they helped. But the cough is the only thing I've still got a little bit of, and a little drainage, but I'm a whole lot better and I'm so thankful that the Lord saw me through it. And a lot of people don't agree with doctors and nurses, but I think they have their place and I thank the Lord for them. But uh, I want us to read together if we can. It it just wouldn't be right if we didn't take time to read the Christmas story in the Bible. Because, you know, we get wrapped up in shopping. We get wrapped up in going to see lights. And, you know, if you got little kids, you want to try to run and get them to see Santa Claus, you know, if you, if you participate in that. and But we a lot of times forget the true, real meaning and reason of Christmas, and that being that we were celebrating the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so I want to read this, and uh, I've been having a little fit with my glasses today, so I hope I can make it through it. If you want to follow along with me and you've got a Bible nearby, you can take your Bible. I'm reading out of King James. <coughs> Excuse me. But we're going to be reading out of the book of St. Luke. Uh, St. Luke chapter 2. We're going to start at verse 1. I'm going to read those first 20 verses, okay? So let's do this together. 
And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea under the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. So it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. She brought forth her firstborn son, wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. The angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swathing clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men came to pass as the angels were gone away from them into heaven. The shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. They came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in the manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered all those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. Praise the Lord. And I know we can go on and keep reading. Make sure you take time out this weekend to celebrate the true reason of this season, that being the birth of Jesus. And I'd like to invite you, if you're out there and you're watching this, whether you're seeing this uh, today when this comes out, a month down the road, a few months down the road, or whenever, maybe it's even next Christmas, I don't know. But I want to invite you, if you would, and, and you know, if you don't have Christ as Lord and Savior in your heart, would you just make an altar where you're at? Or you can you don't have to, you can stand, but if you'd like to kneel and make an altar where you're at. And all you have to do is just ask the Lord. Just talk to him just like I'm talking to you. And ask the Lord if he would if you know, come into your heart and save you of your sins. Confess your sins to him. Lord, I'm a sinner. And I know you're uh, Jesus, that you are the Son of God. You died for my sins and you rose again on the third day. And I ask you to come into my heart. Save me. Cleanse me with your blood. Be Lord of my life. It's just that simple. It's a very simple prayer. Nothing extravagant. You're not joining a church. You're not... Um, you're not... joining any organization. You're just becoming part of the family of God. But I do encourage you to get to this word. You need to study it. Let it become familiar. Plant it into your heart. Find you a Bible-believing church, no matter the denomination. I've always said denominations are man-made, so it doesn't matter where you go as long as they're teaching and preaching this word. That's the important thing. And, and you know, come into agreement with like-minded believers and worship together regularly. Praise the Lord. If you said that prayer, maybe you prayed that uh, when, I, when I said that, would you let us know? Would you email us, songsofpraisewithstan at gmail.com? We'd love to hear from you know what the Lord's done for you. If you have a need, need somebody to agree with you in prayer, you can use that same email, songs of praise with Stan at gmail.com, or you can comment below. We'd love to hear from you. and love to be able to agree with you in prayer concerning your need. Praise the Lord. I want to do one more song, and then we're going to get on out of here. And uh, we'll probably just fade this thing out here at the end. But I do hope you have a very Merry Christmas and have a great time with your family and friends this weekend. And uh, again, don't forget the true reason for this season, and that being the birth of Jesus. Make sure you take time to celebrate that this weekend. Praise the Lord. 
And next week, being a fifth Friday, we'll have a fifth Friday hymn sing. So we'd love for you to come back and be a part of that as well next Friday as well, on the 29th, I believe it is. But uh, God bless you. And uh, let's try this song right here. No crib for a bed The little Lord Jesus Lay down his sweet head The stars in the sky Look down where he lay The little Lord Jesus Asleep on the hay The cattle are lowing, the baby awakes, but little Lord Jesus, no crying he makes. I love thee, Lord Jesus, look down from the sky and stay by my cradle till morning is nigh. Come on, let's sing this last verse together. Be near me, Lord Jesus, I ask thee to stay close by me forever and love me I pray, bless all the dear children in thy tender care, and take us to heaven to live with thee there. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for our friends that are watching this today, Lord. And I thank you for sending your son to be born of a virgin named Mary. God, as we celebrate the birth of Jesus this week, God, let us not forget he's the true meaning and reason for this season. And he's the ultimate gift. Because God, just 33 short years later, he would die on an old rugged cross, be raised again on the third day for our sins. God, I ask you, Lord, if there be one in the sound of my voice today that doesn't know you as Lord and Savior, I ask you that today would be their day of salvation. God, if there be one sick, I know the flu is going around rampant right now, Lord. God, I ask you to touch sick people right now. Heal in the name of Jesus. God, set those at liberty, those who may be held captive. God, maybe by thoughts today or just things going on. God, be with those that are, that are uh, having a tough time because a loved one has gone on to be with you during this uh, past year, Lord, and this may be the first season without them. God, I ask you, Lord, that you would just wrap your loving arms around them. And I speak peace to each family. God, once again, be with us. Bring us back at the next appointed time, Lord. And we'll be sure to give you praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody says, amen. God bless you so much. We're not going to have a song. We're just going to end it here. But we'd love to have you uh, be a part of our uh podcast next week as we celebrate a fifth Friday together and have a hymn sing. God bless you.